Hi, you're watching Crystal Vibes TV, your favorite entertainment blog house in Ghana, West Africa, and the whole world at large. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Finally, guys, Sonibado has actually responded to all of those persons or people that have been criticizing his new sound titled Money. Money, 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 money. Yes. The title alone has been causing a whole lot of stares online, causing a whole lot of chaos online, and also amongst the body of Christ. Several people have actually tamed the song as something secular. They have actually condemned the video of the song. Some persons are like, why are they wearing the color red and black? It actually signifies cultism and the rest some persons have said the song is not spirit filled that it's just uh different kind of scenarios coming from different people making up different stories in their heads you know many many at times these people get inspirations from different kind of stuff and all we get to see as their listeners it's just the end results you understand I really wanted to respond back to that I, I i understood the terrain like this recent one this whole money thing uh it's just turned off and if i tell you the whole story behind this song you're I gonna wanted, get there right i wanted to ask you that. can feel free and talk about that i was doing a whole series on 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 money and wealth creation because god opened my eyes to understand that um, money has no religious affiliations. Money doesn't know the Muslim. Money doesn't know the Hindu. Money doesn't know the Hare Krishna person. Money doesn't know the Christian. Money is a spirit. Whoever calls it gets it. That's why some people are very holy, sanctified, but broke. Some people are speaking in tongues, yet they are broke and they are crying poverty. Yeah, it's because you don't understand or you haven't been schooled in regards to the, that aspect. This is not prosperity gospel. In fact, um, um, God desires that we, we prosper. The Bible says the blessings of God maketh what rich and adds no sorrow. So it's part of get, having financial freedom is part of God's blessing. I tra I've traveled a lot to go and preach. One of the seeds people run to sow is if you say, bring this seed for a financial breakthrough. Obia pisika. Do you understand? The Bible said the money answereth all things. It's the love of money that is the root of all evil. The love of money. And when you don't have money on you, my guy, you, you can compromise real bad. When you don't have money on you, you can go into prostitution because you need to make money. Lack of money can make you a criminal. A lot of armed robbers up and down, what are they looking for? Money. Lack of money can make you a liar. Lack of money can make you a thief. So we, it's about time we learn. We learn how to understand that in this world, in this, this, this world that we're in, everybody is doing whatever they can to attract that which we call money. And this is a, a subject the church has to, to address. It's not, it's not, it's not, lottery that we assume because i'm a christian money must come into my bank account no it's not you've got to work hard for it there are certain money has certain principle is it not interesting that the same hundred dollar that was in that armed robber's pocket can end up in that murderer's pocket that same hundred dollar based on transaction can end up in the bishop's pocket or it can end up in that deacon's pocket money is a traveler you understand? So, so number one, from a spiritual standpoint, money is a spirit. That is why when you go to these Indian restaurants, Indian shops, Chinese restaurants, they have certain statues there. And what do you think they are for? If you go to corner shops in England and all of that, they are all owned by Indians. Mr. 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 Patel, they belong to Mr. Patel. When you're entering that place, look at the left or right side of that entrance. There'll be like a little statue there. What do you think that thing is? That thing is that which attracts money. That's which pulls money for, for them. In those shops, no matter what you go in for, you must not leave without leaving money. That thing they believe in, 
right? Pulls the money for them. When you go to these buffet and these Thai restaurants, you'll see that big belly statue right there, right? That's their source. That's that which they believe in. That pulls money, attracts money for them. Into Christian, you know, as a Christian, as a believer, what is your principle or that which you know attracts that which you call money to come to you? One of the things you need to do is to call money every day. Wherever you are, money, come. Wherever you are, as I'm going out to work, as I'm stepping out, let me not come home empty-handed. Have you, have you struggled to pay bills before where your wife is asking you for money and you, your bank account is minus zero? minus 45 you're even owing have you been in that situation before mm. how does it feel you feel depressed your yep. your wife needs to buy something and you look at her and say can you, there's no money how, how do you feel yeah, awful have you not prayed for open the floodgate have you not played my songs and still the bank accounts were empty yeah we've all sang those songs and the bank accounts were empty because we don't understand the principle so there's certain spiritual principles that once you begin to invoke as you're driving money 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 come to me as I'm working, today's a new day. That's why the lyrics says today's a new day. It's a new season in my life. I'm a child of God. Confession. Everything will work together for my good. Today's a new day. Testimony. Tasting the money I will see. I'm a child of God. Everything will work together for my good. Me, I no go suffer. I'll never beg for bread. Is that not a positive confession? Why are people not talking about that side? I'll never suffer. I'll never beg for bread. As I'm stepping out, I'm never going to suffer. I'm never going to beg for bread. I'm not going to come home empty-handed. God will bless me with money. Are you not working because of money? you going out. What, what are you working for? Money. Money. So I did not write that song to cause unbelievers to suddenly become wealthy and he's a sinner. Why is he talking about money? money? The person preaching needs money. Have you seen pastors fight over money before? Yeah. Have you seen, oh, you have pastors, elders, have you seen pastor finish preaching and he's calling the one who's hosting him that when are you paying me my money? And they literally fall out because maybe he didn't give him enough money. Even siblings. Even siblings. I'm a preacher, man, so I'm talking from experience. I mean, you go and preach and then um, the, the pastor will tell you that, oh, he'll come to your hotel. That whole night you're not sleeping until he's come. You know, you, you don't sleep because you need money. Everybody does. Like, that's the truth. I speak the truth. Everybody needs money. So it is just you confessing that positively. I'd rather you use that tongue to talk about money come to me than I'm suffering today. The Bible says the, the death and life are in the power of the tongue. You understand? And your, your tongue is powerful. Let the weak say what? I am strong. Let the poor say what? I am rich. What, what riches are we talking about? Is it not what? Money. Ah. It is in the scripture. Let the poor say, I am what? Rich. Let the poor. What is poor? Poverty. What is poverty? You lacking money. The Bible says, let the poor say what? I am rich. Okay. What do I want? Money. So money come to me. Which part have I sinned? <laughs> so I think I heard someone analyzing the song. And he, when he said, why are they all wearing black, red and black, like okay. people? Okay, let me their, answer their that. Chances. Let me give you an answer. After I preached this sermon on this altar, and we make many declarations, one of the declarations, and when I'm making that declaration, it's not me that leads that declaration. We have a multi-millionaire here. His name is Professor Michael Wadiale. He's the one that comes to make the declaration of money. He's a pastor as well. So when we're crossing over, he makes that declaration. And one of the things he says that's so profound is money will meet money in my bank account. Oh, that's so profound. Money will meet money in my bank account, you know. So I preached that message here. It was so powerful. And then that chorus, we're all talking, singing it, money, 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 you know, come to me. You know, I'll send you that message. It will bless you. Then my team called me and said, sir, do you want to record this song? I said, no, put it somewhere. They got the producer. They called us. Say, they did everything. I just had to sit and write the lyrics with a young man um, I'm called Anderson. I just needed to, to put some broken English to it, right? And then they told the video crew 
that this man is coming to Ghana, but he doesn't know he's coming to do a video shoot. They called my tailor. They had my outfits ready. And then they told Andy to get the dancers, get everybody ready. As in the outfit they wore, it was the video director that made that decision. I had no clue on that day what who is wearing, what where we are going. All my management told me was, you're only there for three hours. They kept on telling Andy, I can't say they say, oh, we'll have for three hours. The video turned into three days because when I saw the efforts they had put in, three different dancing groups coming together, rehearsing, I was like, okay, that's fine. It took three days. I had no say in any outfit I wore. All I said was, okay, get me green. And then Fino sold something green for me. And even that white outfit, that, that's what I normally wear at home, right? That military thing they wore, I have no clue how, I think, what's the guy's name? Sky, right? Sky is the one that decided they should look military, wear the black and wear the hat. I, all I had to go and do was stand there and learn how to do that thing with them. I, I, and then I took selfies with the kids, the dancers. They were so cute. I have no clue.